Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 scenario video. Uh, this is another Boston Sprinter one marching in. So, welcome to Southampton Street Yard. We will need to create our consist for the day before heading down to Boston South Station, ready to begin passenger operations. Now yeah, I've been fiddling with the graphics quite a bit. Um, yeah, so we're sort of getting about 43 FPS. Um, let's um, let's get, in, get onto the train. But yeah, I was moving out, I've changed everything, and yeah, it, it did start lagging a fair bit, so I've sort of put it back to what it was, and you know, you've got to sort of get the right amount. But yeah, welcome back everyone to another video. Anyway, I press and hold the battery control button. So we're warming up the locomotive. Uh, sit in the engineer's seat. Let's sit there. Uh, set the reverser to neutral. And I should really, I don't think that will have a big effect on the FPS. Hopefully not. Obviously it's pretty much locked to, I've locked it to 43. Um, so we don't get any proper issues. You can see obviously in a medium. Uh, but obviously this is a pre-release build as well. So it might not be running fully. Um, that's all good. Right, let's get that out. I don't think that will have a big, big effect. Um, right, set the reverse to neutral. Neutral. Uh, press the pantograph up button, which is, here we are, pantograph up, set the MCB to closed, that's now closed, hold the HEP start for 5 seconds, which obviously is the head end power, which might, well pretty much gives the coaches power as well, let's get that on, there we go, there we go, there we go, that's now on, set the front headlights to bright, so come back and sit in the seat, <clears throat> uh, front headlights, oh they're here aren't they, front headlights, set them to bright, and set the ditch lights to on, I'm guessing that's our consist there, um, set that to passenger, uh, set the reverse to forward, and yeah hopefully it's looking all well, running all well, As, uh, I was actually recorded quite a few vids and then I realised it was lagging the video itself, so I had to sort of change things again. Anyway, this shard features manual junctions. The manual junctions will need to be set on foot before departing. Okay, can do. <coughs> um, which we can actually do if we come onto here. That's quite far to walk. Um, change that. <coughs> right, I think we're all good. Um, set the automatic brake to release, which is here. Oh, hello. We're we rolling back. Oh, we're rolling back. I wonder what was going on there. I don't know how we're rolling back because the brakes were... I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's... Um... No, we're not going that way. We're going We're going back, aren't we? Right, back we go. Off we go. I won't get the wipers on yet as we are going back. We will get the cab light. Oh, my God. We are speeding a fair bit. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Coming out to 10. There you go. That will do. Uh, let's get the desk light on. Uh, there you go, desk light and console light. There you go, somebody got a little bit of light at least. Rolling back. Sleety, sleety sort of snow at the moment. Um, let's get the wipers on. <coughs> yeah, intermittent, that's better. Right, we'll continue on our way back. As you can see, hopefully it is running well for you guys, not lagging or buffering or doing anything silly. Hopefully it does look alright. So do let me know in the comments. As I've said, I'm still very much hanging on it. Why are we going that way? <laughs> We've just gone the wrong way. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's running all well. <laughs> how have we done that? I don't know how we've done that. I think because I was looking at the thing and I was thinking, oh, straight ahead is to Boston South Station. Uh, but obviously, it, it's the it's the other way. No, 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 don't. Uh, speeding a bit now. Bring that down. Bring it down. Well, well, now we're going the right way. That was that was a test. That was a test run. Clearly. Look at the snow and the reflection there. You gotta love the ACS 64 though. It's a modern electric locomotive. It's lovely. But yeah, this one was about 40 minutes. This scenario. Uh, I think probably what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting the consist and then going into Boston South Station and then running down to Route 128. At least I think that's what we'll be doing. 
Let's get a nice screenshot. There we go, in the light as well. Let's get back in. Pop that on. Lovely. Yeah, it's like sleety snow at the moment. Let's continue on. Yeah, as I said, this is a pre-release build of the game. And obviously pre-release builds aren't always as smooth as obviously full release. So on full release, I should be able to get it up slightly better the graphics. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks sort of how it would on sort of PS4, PS5 console. Let's bring that down. Well, in fact, if you are watching this on release day, as of tomorrow, I, I will be playing the PlayStation 5 version as I'm a console player, I must admit. Um, yeah, that's all good. Right, so are we going to go via or are we stop in there? I'm guessing it says stop um, instruction. Yeah, it's a stop instruction. Well, at least we've gone the right way this time. That's That's a good thing. That is a very good thing. And get the brakes on. Wait for it, wait for it. See, on, on the PC, I prefer actually sort of dragging the controls. Especially sort of when you're going at this sort of speed. I think it's because you can sort of well, do that and then sort of just do that and well, do that. Right, there we go. Let's come to a stop. Whoa. No, no, I've gone too far. No. Right, Southampton Street Yard Track 14. Now, where's that Track 14? That is... Here. Right, let's go back. Yeah, I've, been, I've been enjoying these scenarios. So, we had the long way round one, which was quite interesting, as we sort of had to go round the loop. Uh, we had reverse engineering. Um, it was quite cool, obviously, going round the loop, that sort of procedure. Um, obviously, now this one. Does that mean uh, they're pretty brilliant? Right, back we go. On this very snowy Boston. See, literally, every scenario, it's snowing. Uh, but as I've said quite a few times, obviously, this route has that sort of winter feel to it. I mean, each route sort of has its own better season, and winter's this one. Which, I mean, when I think of the East Coast of America, when I think of Boston, I only hear it in the news when there's been some sort of massive snowstorm or something like that. Literally, always. You never really hear about Boston, obviously, if you're outside the US, unless there's some sort of weather event. And it's usually snow. Anyway, we continue going back. There we go. A couple, two, three. There's only three there, so I'm guessing we'll have to get the others as well. I'm guessing probably the ones on the left, which I guess would be what track... 11 or something. Uh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Brakes, 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 brakes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, okay, it's all good. Wait for a moment. Yeah, because at the moment we, we haven't got the restaurant car. So we're we going now then. Stop is indicated. I'm guessing we're going forward. Hopefully. Um, release them. And we go forward. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're going this way. Down here, right to here. Yeah, you can see we're sort of oh, in Southampton Yard at the moment, and Boston's obviously up there. Couple of trains knocking about. No, we're speeding again. Brakes, do a little bit of braking. There we go. But we continue forward. But yeah, obviously, big thanks again to Dovetail Games, who actually did provide us with an early access code for the route. Um, so, big, big thanks. Yeah, been very much enjoying it. So probably by the end of the scenario, I guess it will be fairly light. Because at the moment, the sun is sort of just coming up. This is like a not a secret bit of track, but probably a bit of track you wouldn't really use. Round we go, though. Has this one got its own loop to it? No, it's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of this one up here, which has its own little loop, which is quite cool. Almost there, almost there. 
Get in there. And to a stop. Lovely. Right. And I'm guessing, yeah, track. I got it right. I did say track 11, didn't I? I did say track 11. And it is track 11 we're going to. So let's change the points. Points, points, points. You are all good. So let's go back. Um, reverse. Get them off. And then forward. Well, not forward, but back. Oh, hello. Bit of wind there. Alright, we continue going back. I suppose I had no buffer there either. <laughs> if you couldn't see the track, you could easily go off there. Anyway, back we go. So, what we. I guess we're connecting up, getting our restaurant cars. We don't have it at the moment. So, I'm guessing we're getting that one there, and then we're getting that one there. Yeah, because this is. I think this is a full formation here, which is made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So. How many do we have at the moment? Three. So yeah, probably, probably them two we're getting. Cool. Obviously, there's literally a scenario for everything on here. Um, obviously you've got the loop. Obviously a bit of depot stuff. What we're doing now, the MBTA getting stuck in traffic, an express run. It's got it all. And as I'm doing this one, I've got two more scenarios to do, which I believe is the. 60 minute one and the 90 minute one which the 90 minute one you might see in two parts and the 60 minute one might be two parts as well depending if it does overrun 60 minutes which obviously it probably would but that's the share factory studio for some reason you can't do more than 60 minutes which does surprise me moving back moving back We're getting that. And. I know there's some that's just behind us. And I thought they were on another track. Okay, we'll probably just be getting them then. I suppose maybe reverse slightly more. We're we not connected there. No, we are. So are we just basically moving the train back? <laughs> we are. Okay, well, yeah, okay. And I suppose after that we're probably yeah, we're probably gonna reverse into Boston, aren't we? Yeah we will, we probably will be reversing. It's quite a long train though, nine coaches this one. I think usually they are eight. Back we go. Back we go, back we go, back we go. Boom. Right. We can right now reverse <laughs> reverse into Boston South State. I think it is uh, over a mile or so into there, and we're going to be reversing the whole way, which really does make it interesting, uh, especially when it comes to signals, because, yeah. Um, I suppose we're sit at the back of the train, as if we were the guy with the walkie-talkie at the back. Right, anyway, let's get the brakes off. And, well, let's let, let's reverse, and hope for the best. Right, let's, um, let's go to the back. Um, no, we're going camera free, and we should, yeah, be able to go to the back. So we are now the person with the walkie-talkie standing at the back. We probably would have that down as well. Here we go. So we've got 1.3, um, well, just over a mile to Boston South Station. It's always awesome the approach into Boston. And yeah, frames at the moment. Uh, 43, I've locked it to 43. As it was, I was sort of getting about 50. And it sort of kept going down to sort of 46, 45. So I thought, I'll just put it in 43. Just then we'll be on the safe side. Um, I mean, I was actually getting 60 at some points. But I, I just didn't want to risk it. Those lag spikes aren't nice. So it's good we can have it in these graphics. I probably could have it more. But I just I don't want to risk it. Uh, I just want it to run smoothly for you guys because I sort of when I record a video I sort of think how I'd want to watch it and obviously if there's lag spikes I'd be like oh, I'm just going to go and watch someone else um, so yeah I try to make it nice and smooth whilst it's still looking good which yeah this probably would look sort of how it would on the consoles A 
But yeah, as I've said quite a few times, I haven't got a super duper duper PC. People say it's good. And it runs a few games and sort of top graphics. Is that a footbridge up there? What's what's this? Is that a footbridge? What's this here? Don't know, I think that might be a bridge for workers to get across. Not too sure. Or some sort of piping or something. Right, let's go back to the walkie talkie position. As we slowly manoeuvre back into Boston South. And yeah, we are um, going to Route 128, I believe. Back Bay, and yeah, Route 128. We're doing there at 8.12. When are we doing at Boston South then? Oh, we don't actually have a... But we'll be able to sort of have a look. Okay, right, we need to speed up. We're doing a back bay station. Obviously, we have to get to Boston South first in five minutes. Maybe it's a bit back bay station, so we might run a little bit late. But it's all good. Hopefully, we can speed up in a second. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Should be up to 10, actually. And up to 15 by the looks of things. Although once it's sort of under a mile, it's not far at all. Even if you're going at 5 miles an hour, it won't take too long once you're under a mile. But it's always nice to speed up. Just applying a little bit of power at the moment. I'm guessing the train is just about out of the yard. Yeah, it's just come out now. So we can speed up to 10. Okay, while well, we're above, the walkie-talkie guy won't be on the roof. Back to, uh, back to being here. There we go. Right, there we go. Let's, um, coast that. And as we make our way back. But yeah, we've got one mile. And we can speed up to 15 in a second. But it's just, it must be sort of... Weird in real life being a train driver and having to reverse for quite a quite a distance just reversing and obviously it's busy as well. I mean this is sort of the main line into Boston, so you'd have trains sort of going by, even a red light when you're reversing. Be a bit scary in a way. Right, let's get that up. Although we are getting a bit of wheel slip, so we can't really go too fast or accelerate too quick. Moving back nice and slowly though. There you go. Cool. 0 0.9 to Boston South. Moving back still. Well, see, as we come into Boston, the FPS might drop a little bit, but it's the main station on the route. There's a lot of stuff to load in buildings, just trains. There's a lot. Cool. I'll right, we'll just at this um, this for now. As we make our way back, almost there though. There's that little bit of track we went on in the previous scenario. I think it was the previous one we did, the long way round. We went along there, didn't we? Which was cool. And here's Boston South Station. I can't really see. A, a few trains in here. I think it's um one of the I did a service uh off sort of off video off stream well off video, um, and it was really busy. It was about six in the morning at Boston, and wow, yeah, it well actually no, I was recording, but then for some reason the video was laggy. That issue I said earlier, so in the end I I I just got rid of it in the end. Um, but yeah, there was like five trains at once coming in and out of Boston. It was crazy. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could really sense it was rush hour. And across we go. Yeah, it was crazy, but I loved it, though. But anyway, yeah, uh, I suppose we don't... Hang on a second, is there a train in there? No, we're coming on this one. So yeah, we're doing that back base station in about a minute. 
that's not happening. So already running late and we haven't even actually properly started the service yet. Uh, but yeah, I might, I might try and do that one again at some point because yeah, it was just manic, Boston Station. Obviously at that time in the morning it was about 6, there was actually no ACS 64s because obviously they obviously hadn't come out of the depot yet. But MBTA stuff, there was tons of it knocking about. It's brilliant though. Right, almost back. So top speed on today's journey will be about 125 miles an hour. Although well, I haven't tested the ACS 64 yet in the new graphic. I've literally changed the graphic settings about four times since the first look stream. Um, just to try and get it completely right. Um, mostly for when we stream. Um, which obviously will be today obviously if you're watching on release. Yeah, hopefully it is looking good. I mean, from my perspective, it seems to, yeah, it seems to be looking looking fine, looking good. And we suppose we'll stop um, up to the buffer, I guess. Yeah, we we'll go a bit further up. We'll pretty much stop on that snow marker, which you can see there on the side of the platform. Let's stop there. And then don't go through that signal. Don't go through that signal. That doesn't look nice. Right, unlock the doors. There we go. And yeah, the door key does work. So you could easily pretend to be the guard on here. Right, sorry, walkie-talkie guy, but we're going back now. Uh, I think the passenger lights are already on, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's get the alerter on. It should be shift and enter. Alerter's now on. Well, you can do it the other way, but... Uh, it seems the snow has stopped as well, so we shall get that off as well. Uh, off. Lovely. Got a few more um, bits and bobs about. Seems that MBTA hasn't come alive yet. But we've got the ACS's Amtrak stuff in here. But yeah, what other trains do you run on into Boston Station in real life? I think it's just Amtrak and MBTA, isn't it? Or does anything else run in here? Because I think the other train is going to Boston North Station. Which I think is fairly similar to this one. Uh, right, doors locked. Let's get them locked. And then head to Back Bay Station. Which literally is just round the corner. It's probably more of just an interchange station. So you don't have to go all the way into uh, Boston South to change trains. Right, brakes are coming off. There we go. Uh, bell goes on. Bit of horn action. And let's get going. We are, oh, hang on. That's not nice. Well, we might not get going then. We seem to have a red light. Which let me uh, acknowledge. Let me contact Signaler. No, but we can't go. Okay. Um... Well, we're doing a back base station two minutes ago, so. Well, we'll wait. Uh, just wondering what we're waiting for, though. That one there, this train. Yeah, we're waiting for that. So, we won't actually be late, pretty much, because that train's obviously running late, I guess. We've got to wait for that to come in, though. And then we can go, sorry passengers, sorry, but yeah, we're waiting. So I should see that other train poke its head round the corner in a second. What's it going to be, an ACS 64 and MBTA train? I reckon an ACS 64. It seemed too long to be an MBTA one. We wait. And as I'm waiting, let's um let's start the summer update on the PlayStation if it's if it's out, that is. As as of recording this the summer update is uh it's coming out today. Obviously on for everyone. 
Yeah, it's an ACS 6. Oh no, it is an MBTA. It is. Welcome to Boston. You finally made it. Is it still blocking the... Are we waiting for something else as well? Uh, no, it is just blocking our path at the moment. Um, apart from that, it looks like we are clear into Boston Back Bay and we're coming on this sort of side platform. And then we're cleared all the way down to Route 128, which that's Reedville, so it's about here. There it is. And you've got Canton Junction there. Yeah, I'm learning the route quite well, actually. I mean, I reckon I probably could name <coughs> almost all of the stations. Uh, you've got Boston South, Boston Back Bay. Uh, you've then got, I believe, Rugles, or Ruggles, how you pronounce it. Um, oh, God, what's the other one? That's a bit embarrassing. I forgot one already. Um, the Hyde Park, Reedville, um, Route 128, Canton Junction... Uh, and then it's, I believe, Shannon, Mansfield, Attlebrotto, South Attlebrotto, um, and then Providence. So, yeah, I'm getting there. I think I did all right there. And if you're going down the uh, Stoughton branch, so you get Canton Centre, and then, um, well, Canton Centre literally is right next to Canton Junction Station. It's mad how close they are. But let's get moving. Look at that. Oh, look at all the fumes as well. I was just looking at the nice electric train. I see all of that coming up. Lovely. <clears throat> anyway. Cool, so we're coming out of Boston South now. We're going to be quite, well, about, probably about eight minutes late to Boston back, babe. But it's all good. It's a scenario, which still being late isn't bad, or well, isn't good, but you shouldn't be holding up any other services. Although, what's the longest delay one of you has actually had in TSW? Have any of you just sort of sat there for an hour delaying everything just to see what happens? I think someone said they fell asleep. Uh, it was Amela. Fell asleep. Fell asleep while I was playing. Um... <laughs> And then they end up being 10 hours late or something. Which was, um, yeah. Oh, hello, yeah, got ya. That's the alert going off, making sure I'm all good. But yeah, I don't, well, I sort of do follow these speeds on here, but I usually just follow the HUD speed. Until I've learned that, then I'll start using that properly. Because at the moment it makes you come down to about 30 miles an hour. Um, quite far out of Providence Station. So I've sort of been ignoring that for now. Which I probably should not ignore it. It probably is telling me I do need to go at that speed. And it probably is correct. But I like speed. So. Oh, well, to 30 in a second. It's got to wait. 30, 30, where are you? Any second now. Is it going to do it? Oh, well, no, that's the alert. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm alive. See, it isn't, isn't as annoying as CFA. It doesn't go off as much. Yeah, it's quite slow um, from Boston South to Back Bay, but they are literally right next to each other. It's not a long gap between them. Right, off we go, though. And yeah, there seem to be a bit of an FPS drop once you come into Back Bay Station. Uh, I'm not too sure why. It might be because the, just all the buildings on top of it. I mean, look, there's big skyscrapers on top. Um, but yeah, when you do come into Back Bay Station, the FPS does tend to drop. So we might actually uh, experience that. But you can see the little spikes there as we come in. Boston back bay. It probably doesn't like me back bay station. It's like, uh, I've had enough of you. You're always late to me. So have some of this. But yeah, here we are coming into back bay station. You've got an ACS 64 in there. 
Looking beautiful. It's a beautiful locomotive though, the ACS-64. And I think the new Amtrak one is the Siemens Charger. Which I think is electric and diesel, isn't it? Which looks nice as well. I can hear a diesel train somewhere. But I'm pretty certain I can always hear it. It might just be a road above where you can sort of hear trucks and cars going above. Right, here we are. Back Bay Station, track 3. Hello everyone, I have arrived, so I am late. So I am late. I'll just be looking at me like... Rrr. Uh, good stop. Right, here we are. The door's open. There is an... I'm pretty certain there is an MBTA train somewhere. It feels like I can always, I can always hear an engine here. Hello, everyone. In fact, as we are... No, there is one, I think. There's one on the other side. As we are a little bit... Well, not early, but we've got a bit of time. Let's go for a little walk over to track two. I think there is other tracks here, but I don't know if you can access them. That's but they're not part of sort of this line. Is that collectible? Hey, there we go. Have you been to well, have you been to Boston? And eight beans? Uh let's see what else we can find. What does what does this say? Okay, that's rules of contact. Trash is an issue. So we it does seem that we do have new posters. I don't think I've seen these before. Uh, I think I've seen this one, but I think they are fairly new these ones. Oh, I see a collectible. There it is down there. Let's go and get it. Sorry, passengers. We're going to be late again, but I'm collectible hunting. That is completely fine. Right. Let's, um... Let's get the door shut. Uh, let's get that released. Probably would have just deafened everyone, so yet again, they'd probably be like, how dare you? Off we go. I've been late. I've deafened them. I've... Literally gone able on the platform running around and they've probably been sitting there wondering what is the driver doing? It's all good. Love the sound of it though, I can hear it. Sounds excellent as we uh, come out of Boston Back Bay Station. On our way south, and obviously yeah, you can go fairly quick on this bit, I and mean, it shoots up to 60 in a second, uh, and then up to 120, and I think actually 125 at some point. But the thing is, the thing I prefer driving on this section is the MBTA stuff, because you can get it up to like 100 miles an hour in an F40 and the little old cab car. Which is brilliant. Or well, even in this is brilliant, but just in the old stuff as well, getting... That amount of speed, and you can see you're literally breaking the limits of it. Ten miles to route 128. Ten miles. Hello, yep, that's the alert. You got to be fairly quick. Right, let's get that up. Oh yeah, we'll slip. Yeah, we'll slip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got yeah. Lovely. Well, going out of Boston now, sort of, the scenery is fairly similar for sort of the next sort of three, four miles as we sort of pretty much just get our way out of Boston. So quite a few tunnels. You're sort of in the trench. It's a bit like Cathcart, you know, when you're going through Glasgow, you're sort of down below, going through all the little tunnels. That is what we're doing at the moment. I'm just going to keep it in notch 5 for now, about well, about 50%. You can hear sand is... Uh, we are getting wheel slip still. I think this is a station I don't know. I think this one's Rugal's. I think. Through we go. Cool, right, we're through there. 100 miles an hour in just under two miles. Well, I think we do have to bring the speed down eventually because we do have to. Well, at the moment we're sort of on the slow lines. Well, not the slow slow lines, but yeah, we're on the. We do need to come across in a second. 
As I believe these are bi-directional, because on some, well, sometimes I'm on sort of the left track there going this way. Sometimes you see trains going the opposite. Yes, yeah, bi-directional, I believe, because obviously there's only three tracks. But we are off. Does look good in the snow. Does look good. Okay, yeah, back into another little tunnel. And as we go around here. Just keeping it in 50% power for now. Don't overdo it. Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, I got yeah. Yeah, acknowledge. I'm here. I'm alive. There you go. It's happy. It's happy and I'm happy. Yeah, continuing on. We've got about 7.8 miles. This bit goes really quick. I mean, you're going at top speed. So, doesn't take long. Although we do have a yellow there, which is a little bit worrying. And it's time to go to 45. So, I'm going to do that because if we do have to... Well, we've got 45 coming up, actually. Quick. Quick, quick, come on. Bring it down, bring the speed down, please. Thank you, right, we're coming down. Here we go. It's got a web of snow there. Right, there you go, that's good. Cool, through the quite a dark station that one and we're at 45 as we're now crossing onto well, the right line now so we were sort of on the wrong line but across we go beep, yeah, beep. and then there's an MBTA train that probably was waiting to get onto our line so we're ready for the hold up, you've probably been waiting there probably 10 minutes or so it's not my fault, not my fault <laughs> right let's, uh, let's get that up Getting about 50% power again. And let's get a flyby shot. Oh no, that's not a flyby shot, that's a map shot. Let's uh let's go to here. But yeah, hopefully it's looking good and I'm running smoothly. I mean I'm quite surprised it is actually running quite smooth. Um but I sort of put it back to almost its original oh god, I've just noticed something. Why is that door open? No one saw it. Right, let's, let's get a fly by shot now. Let's uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, I pretty much put the graphics back to what they originally were and just sort of changed a few things from there. It just seemed to be an ACS64. It just didn't like... Um, yeah, it, it didn't like me having those sort of graphics. I've, we left even the back door open. We're not very good, are we, at closing doors? Five point two miles. Get up a little bit. But yeah, it's running all, all right at the moment. You know, thirty to forty, well, about thirty nine to forty six FPS. Which, as long as it's running smoothly, I can't really notice much of a stutter. Uh, I mean, there is a little tiny bit, but I mean, it's yeah, you would have to be fussy to be a oh, that's Getting annoying. Yeah, it's, it's not not bad. Also, as we speed up, we might notice it a little bit more, but it's all good. But yeah, thanks all for coming in. Obviously, if you're enjoying the video, do it. Oh, hello, do leave a thumbs up and do subscribe. It all does help out, obviously, for plenty of Rush Hour content. And if you haven't seen already, I actually have made an well another playlist specifically for Rush Hour stuff. Uh, so pretty much anything I upload in the first week or so of each of the routes release will be in that playlist. And obviously after that it will sort of just be back to all being in the normal playlist. Just then if you're looking for rush hour stuff to watch you'll know exactly where to find it all in one nice tidy playlist.
3 miles to route 128 so what I'm going to do, I'm going to coast it there's no point going any faster now as I've said it's snowing as well well snow is on the ground here's Reedfield station which is quite a cool one so I have to get up the ramp on one of them still one service I haven't done yet is I haven't done a Providence to Boston service where you in a slow one so we've just been sort of doing the fast Amtrak services so at some point I shall have to do that and that's my chair by the way I moved in it made its weird squeaky sounds but yeah at some point we're doing all stops MBTA Providence Boston service probably on live stream actually But let's put this, even a all stop service, it doesn't take that long. Uh, I mean, which is it's nice. Um, well, actually, no. With the all stops Boston to Providence service, it's about 50 minutes it is. Um, and you're stopping at, I think, six or seven stops. Because I think after Route 128, it runs fast. Uh, and then obviously, you get all the other services which run slow and fill those stations. So it's quite a nice mix in terms of time. There's not like a service which takes forever to do. They all, they all have their own mix to them, which is nice. I can see the footbridge coming up. Or just the bridge before... Well, that's a road bridge, isn't it? But we've route 128. There we are coming up to it now. Cool, let's get the horn on. Let them know we're on our way. Sorry, passenger. Well, actually, it's not too bad. We're about four minutes late, which is probably all right for Amtrak, isn't it? I mean, someone said like a, a train was seven hours late before. One of the long distance ones. So, I don't think it's too bad being four minutes late. It's sort of about the hustle and bustle now, so... Here we are. Boston. No, it's not Boston. At Route 128. But yeah, I'm guessing this is more of like a park and ride station. That's, yeah, it's about 10 miles out of Boston, so. And I believe E is the sort of stop marker. Uh, but I think that's more for MBTA trains at this station. So we go right to the end. As we are, quite a long train. There's everyone chilling on the platform. Hello, everyone. Yeah, it looks a bit cold out there. Looks nice, though. I mean, I wouldn't mind having this weather here in the UK. Obviously, in winter. But here we are. We made it. Route 128. That was nice. That was a nice sort of, you know, nice scenario. Building the train and then driving it. Bit of action for everyone in there. There we go. Uh, good work, another engineer will continue the westbound journey. There's everyone getting off, and you see them getting off, and then all of them get on after. I mean, that's quite busy though, isn't it, everyone getting off. Obviously, it's a fairly early morning one, so it might be fairly quiet anyway. Good, yeah, I like that, that was good. 43 minutes, not bad, 14 miles, gold medal, come on, yes, gold medal. Of course it would be. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it, everyone. Obviously, thanks all for coming in. Obviously, we'll find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. But yeah, thanks all for coming in, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.